ranking Frank Herbert's Dune Chronicles in under 1 minute and 30 seconds. Starting off with number 6, we have Heretics of Dune. I loved Miles Tagg as a character. I think he's one of the best characters in the entire series. The Duncan Idaho of this story is probably my favorite Duncan Idaho of them all. Wink wink. I didn't really enjoy the whole Sheena storyline and the Priests of Dune. Kind of dragged. Number 5, Chapter House of Dune. Loved the idea of creating a second Dune. Really liked the in-depth exploration of the Bene Gesserit sisterhood and really thought the whole story was moving in a really unique direction. Number four, God Emperor of Dune. What can we say about God Emperor of Dune? It is a seminal work. I don't think I can really explain to you what exactly happens in this story, but you really see Leto Atreides pontificating about the rule of power, and you can see Frank Herbert's libertarian roots shine through. Number three, Dune Messiah. The fall of Paul Muad'Dib. Really think that this story was just Frank hitting people over the head for what they missed in the first one, but it really does flesh out a lot of the characters and explain to you a lot of the motivation and uniqueness of what actually happened to Muad'Dib. Number two, Children of Dune. This story really just puts a beautiful end cap onto the Paul Atreides story and shows just the uniqueness of Frank's perspective, which he would then later pay off in God Emperor. And number one, Dune. It is, without a doubt, Frank Herbert's greatest work. A fascinating story that is not only narratively driven, but politically exploratory. Fascinating. That is my ranking of Frank's books.